Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Um, back over at the lab, and at the start of this episode, usually I start with my projects uh, that I did in the previous episode, but uh, uh, yeah, I remember how it had moved on me while well, I went back there. It was another 30 feet up, and another 50 feet over, and uh, from what I hear in the forums is that they've got this fixed in the next update. Uh, one of the things I noticed too when I came back here, because I, I loaded up over there and I came back here, and I noticed that the counterweight on the trebuchet used to be over here, sort of planted. But now it's over here, and it's not even touching the ground. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what happened here. Uh, from what I've heard, it's got something to do with uh, confusion in frozen states upon physics or chunk load and unload. That's what I hear, right? <laughs> get an idea of what they're talking about, but the terminology they used beyond me. You know, I kind of forgot. It's a Monday morning for me. What do you expect? But uh, there's a couple of ideas I've been think we're thinking about working on. A uh, couple little games. And I think we want to, I want to do some testing to, you know, do some more lab work. And I haven't set any testing pads up. So I thought, you know, might as well set them up underneath here. I'm going to set out some foundations with some, um, blacking all stripes around them, why not, and uh, go from there, and then we'll just use a central power source, I'll probably end up using this, because this still has fuel in it, and I'm not going to be using this anymore, because this is just a prototype, uh, once they get everything fixed, we'll be able to go back over there and check out the other one, I think that was it, yes, yes, C for coaster, and yeah, um, also too, uh, like there's a couple of different games I'm going to try to work on, one of them is sort of like a Sort of like a Plinko-style electronic game. It's going to be have switches and controls and stuff like that. And another one I want to, I'm thinking about doing is, what was it, last season, episode 98. And I'll bring up a clip here. Uh, I started working on this, this tethered remote control sort of idea. And as you can see, I have a little rover running around that's being driven from the cockpit. And it, the power is actually being converted, uh, transferred. Or the controls are being transferred through the the hinges and the switch the blocks and all that stuff down to the actual rover so what i'm going to try to do is i want to do sort of like a crane and i want to you know like a, a crane game i don't know if you remember that back in the old 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 days they had that little machine in the arcades that had a little claw that you picked up little toy cars and you put them in the hoppers yeah i want to do something like that with the with the balls because i've got the sort of loading unloading mechanism on the, the ball handler there and oh there's a autosave and uh yeah go with something like that so let me get a few pads set up and then strain will be gone i'll bring you back when we're gonna do some some bc kind of stuff and so there we have a nice little nine by nine area you got some pads each one has its own switchboard which is as you can see actually no you can't because i have electricity turned off as you can see each one says got its own connection I thought this one here was actually going to be able to reach those corner ones but apparently not so I had to go there I thought it was 40 blocks that these things reached um, but yeah I slept the night away and the balls that were in here actually fell through these ones are sort of doing the funky chicken together in the, the railings uh, I had to extend this out too because I got a switchboard right underneath that corner there which was supposed to su supply all nine pads but that wasn't actually reaching to one I had placed there, so I placed it on the generator, it wasn't enough, so I had to create, quote unquote, a power bar. A bar with a switchboard just so I could extend the power just, just to get to here, and then this one had to go to the one on the side here, and then that one had to go to that one there, and then those, now let's connect those three, these are these nine, and that's just so... Um, one so if i ever decide i want to have someone that's being controlled by a cockpit at least this grid here is centralized when i built these i do have them snapped on the same actual grid but i took out the the foundation i'd put in between as a as an alignment spacer i had to move a couple of them too for some reason this whole row got moved down that way one little block i'm keeping an eye on these guys too they the one's going to be giving me some trouble I might have to build a wall eventually but they're fine but anyways uh yeah there's so many little things where'd that one come from oh it popped out or did it i don't know i don't know if that's youtube friendly or not 
let's uh, not pay attention to that. But speaking of balls, we actually have one here. This is good because I have something I wanted to try with the hover pads. So let's go ahead and get some hover pads going. Uh, where are they? Here. And yes, I know, I know, I really should be using my hot bars, but I don't. So what I want to try to do is I want to try to get some locomotion going with the hover pads. And just see if we can get something going in the spiral, for instance. Now, let's see what kind of, kind of space do I want. Um, let's actually get rid of that one without taking the foundation out. Not that it would really matter. Uh, one, so let's go ahead and let's see if we can get it in a base foundation area. That's actually in the wrong spot. Let's get rid of that. And we'll put one here. Well, not there. I gotta move that one. That's in the wrong spot. I wanted it to have it there be nice if we had these things a little more easier to see. Let's actually get some blocks down. Because what I want to do is sort of like a like a cyclone. I guess you could call it. Uh, that's actually going to move over. But you get the idea of what I am trying to do here. So let me do it and I'll bring it back when I got everything built. And what is going on over there? I don't know, I just uh, paused for a second to go to the bathroom and uh, a little bug got squished by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, uh, supposedly uh, we got some changes from what I hear coming up in the next update, which might be this week, and I have a feeling it might be a good update. So what can I going to do this? Let's do, hmm. let's go orange, why not? So what I'm doing is, as you can see, I got four hover pads facing in a circular direction. Uh, one of my uh, sick day videos, I was messing around with uh, something similar like this, and I had a post that was hanging from two hinges, one going this way, one going this way, sort of like a U-joint. I had it sort of bouncing around inside four hover pads like this and it didn't really work too well it was sort of binding in some areas but I want to try to give this another shot so we're going to put all of them on hover mode like so and then we're going to place a switchboard down somewhere that's a good spot for it and we need to connect that to that 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 I switch that off. I like that you can actually switch things off while you have the power connection available. And where is that other one going to? Oh, did I connect that to the wrong one? Oops. All right, let's do this. I gotta. This is the one that's gonna connect over to here. No, oh, it was already connected. I don't know where the other one was connected. I have no clue, but anyways. Oh, that's gotta be connected back down here. That's probably where that connection was. Maybe not, I have no idea. Oh yeah, that's gotta go to that one. All right, so let's see what happens when I turn this on. Let's get the build vision out of here and Okay. It actually works better than I thought it would. A lot of times you get uh, it's sort of binding in the corner, but because there's no resistance, at least it continually goes. All right. Now, I wanted to try something like this vertical as well, similar to the elevator. Wow, it just stops like that. That's what I mean about these balls not rolling. It's like trying to move a uh, hexagon or you know, what would be a dodecahedron, like a 20-sided die, for instance. All right, so now let's try uh, doing, doing this vertical. So I'm going to try to set something up the same way, but have it so it's right side up. So one pad's pushing up, one pad's pushing that way, one's pushing down, and the other one's pushing this way. 
and then hopefully we can get a rotation like that. I'm going to put the railings on too, like I did up there. Keep it up, and we're going to have little ball bearings everywhere. I know that. But anyway, so I'll bring you back. All right, there we go. I got it all configured too. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to find my little ball loader here. I was going to build another ball here, but since I got all these balls laying around, I might as well use them. Now, where did I park that thing? That thing's still having a bad day. And I swear to God, that thing was sitting right there. I think I actually might have been up the ramp a little bit. Oh, there's my flyer on its side. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's go load that thing up and turn that on. Thank you. Oh, don't kill me. Not yet. All right. So now, get to see how good my aim is. <laughs> no, it's going to be terrible. What is that? Ah, it's an old tree stump. Anyway, uh, let's see. Well, we got orange, so let's go and grab the, the red one zoom in a little bit so we can actually see a little bit better uh, maybe they can uh, adjust uh, the distance the mouse wheel turn adjust the view all right there we go so now see if I can actually do this properly and the way it's set up the ball drops straight down which is really handy The only thing that it's hard to deal with sometimes is that drift. And I don't know if that drift is actually being caused by the planet or what. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here and pop that in. Perfect. It's always nice when things work the way you plan to. Probably not as entertaining as some instances, but... You know, stuff like that's always good to watch. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Not that it matters, it's all solar powered. Now I gotta go ahead and close this up because that ball's gonna go shooting out of here. Hopefully not with me in it. Now the question is, if this actually works, is it possible to create like a, like a, lo a lottery ball tumbler or yeah, something like you would do with lottery balls or bingo balls, where uh, where you have them bouncing around in a container and then just draw drawing random them out randomly. So I'm gonna get my light on so we can actually see this. Now it should actually do something. Hey, look at that! That's cool. I might actually try to get something like this set up where it does its own little route and it stays perpetual instead of doing like a, a ramp idea maybe something that just continually moves maybe uh, the, the problem with this too is once we get get a hundred meters away it's gonna stop moving and then I'm sure if I sleep because it's getting dark that it will clip through and should stop right there outside 100 meters and we go back in and it'll start up again but if I go and sleep in the chamber it'll probably end up on the ground because it's sitting on another block possibly and the fact that it's moving let's actually put that to the test I got my sleeping bag over here my my backyard tent oh holy jeez that was like spike everything okay is still there good usually in my experiences lag spikes usually mean physics spikes game realizes that oh yeah I'm supposed to be doing this and that's when all hell breaks loose all right this should also fix the little buggy that was clipped into the floor there oh just in time to miss the rain all right where are we oh oh let's go Let's go investigate. It's like somebody doesn't know how to drive. Yeah, these these rotators. What's weird is it makes sound too. So how is this thing doing? It is still rolling. Nice. 
All right. So yeah, this is one of the things I wanted to experiment with. I got a couple other things I want to mess around with, like springs and or attempting to make spring-loaded devices and whatnot, just for future things. But anyways, I'm gonna call this episode here. It's uh, I want to actually get this out before I head off to work, so you guys got something to watch. But anyways, I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.